Hi and welcome back to another review of the Win Fortune tutorial. Uh, there are several adjustments we have to apply to make the program a little bit better. Uh, if you remember, when you run it, it prints the message on the whole width of the available screen area, whereas the real thing uh, works a little bit different. Even if the text is very long, it wraps it into this little frame and it's uh, split into a new line somewhere halfway. You know, long lines of text are not easy to read, whereas short ones are much, much friendlier. That's why we're going to have to make a few adjustments in the code of our program uh, to implement this behavior. And uh, we are going to do that with a very simple approach. Python has a module called uh, text wrap, and we are going to rely on that. Here is how it works. So if I run Python, I import text wrap, and let's say I have a very long string, for example. If I print it, it looks like that, but if I want to make it shorter, I mean align it, uh, split it at a certain length, here's what I would do. I would call um, a function called wrap from the text wrap module and give it my string at the input. Uh, I'll wait. Uh, it takes a second argument which indicates how long we want the lines to be. So I'm going to set it to 20 characters and notice that it returned a list. Each of them, uh, each of the items in this list is a string that is no longer than 20 characters. So that's how we are going to solve our problem. And just in case, um, let's go back here. This is what it looks like now. And what we want to achieve is to make it split somewhere here. And besides that, uh, we also wanted to add this nice little frame, like, um, like it does in Kausei. Uh, so here are the adjustments we're going to have to apply. I'm going to take the message and split it using the wrap function inside text wrap, which is a standard module. At this point, lines will contain multiple elements. Each of them is a string uh, not longer than, let's say, 40 characters. And then mm, we're going to have to add the upper border, which is this one. Then we're going to have some characters uh, here vertically, and then the bottom part. So it will look like this. So if this one is 40 characters long, uh, we are going to have the asterisk repeat it 40 times. By the way, uh, you may not be aware of this, but in Python, you can, uh, if you do this, uh, this string will be replicated 40 times. So let's, hey, let's have a um, final message equals to that. Then for line in lines, uh, we are going to modifying the line such that line equals it will add one asterisk a space then it will plug in the line then another space and then another asterisk line so as a result of this uh, we will have something like this space some text space asterisk so this is what our string will look like. And this will happen for every line, so which every line in this uh, lines list, 
And as we transform the line, uh, we have to append it to this uh, final message. Okay, so we have 40 asterisks. We'll have to add a new line here to the beginning. Then we are going to have to add no, we won't have to. And we have to add this to the final message. So final message. And once we're done, we're going to have to add another um, line here at the bottom. So it's going to be oh, one more thing. I'm going to have to add this to the final message rather than rewrite it. And in the end, I will have to add the bottom line plus 40 asterisks plus the final new line character. So this will be my final message. And this is what I have to use here, final message. Now let's give it a try. that didn't really work out as I expected. Okay, let's have a look at the code and figure out what's wrong. I'm going to print the lines at this stage just to see whether anything gets uh, returned in that list. Yes, I see that the list was processed as expected, so this is not our problem. Now let's see if the final message looks well. Print final message, and I am going to comment out this part of the code for now. Okay, so the upper line and the bottom line look as I want them. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, it is strange though that I only print one line. yet I see two lines here. Oh, this one is a part of the final response. Okay, it's, um, it's supposed to be like that. Okay, so we have nothing wrong here, and it goes as expected here. Then something must be wrong in the remaining part. I guess I'm going to have to get rid of these um, new line characters for now, just to see what happens in the meantime. OK, so I do have to add the new line before the upper area. going to need more than 40 here. So let's uh, refactor it a little bit with set 40 characters. And this one is going to be width plus padding. And padding will be, let's say, three characters. Let's give this another try. Mm -hmm. We need more padding. I'll make it. Uh, I'll make it five characters long. 
and we need a backslash n between this one and the previous line. So let's set padding to 5. And a new line here. We saved it and we're going to run it again. Okay, so now it looks better. Uh -huh. So what I need is a little bit more padding. Let's set it to 8. And I am going to add my final line here. And again, I'm, I will use the width variable instead of uh, using 40 as a magic number. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I add the last line, oh, of course, final message plus equals. I was overwriting it rather than adding the string to the end. Okay, so now it should work. Okay, it does. Um, but we have a little overflow here. So I'm going to use a smaller length. Instead of 40, let's say uh, 35. Hmm, still a problem. Ah, uh, yeah, the padding wasn't supposed to be there. I think uh, we won't need this at all. Let's see how this works. Okay, so we need to add padding to the end, to the end of each line until it reaches the width we chose. So it's going to be an asterisk followed by space. This is where it ends. And then we have to add some padding characters. How much padding do we need? That's the question. Um, Okay, let's just try to guess and use three. So we'll use one space multiplied by multiplied padding times plus a new line character at the end. I saved it. I'm going to run it again. Mm, okay, it looks right, but there is no line there. Yes, of course there isn't, because an asterisk is missing. Mm -hmm. So this number has to be computed dynamically. It is equal to the length of this line. No, it is equal to the length of this line minus the length of that one. Okay, so here's how it works. Um, multiplied by width minus the length of line. Okay, that should do the trick, I hope. Oops. Uh -huh. Width is not defined, of course, because there was a typo. Okay, here we go. Um, now we have to get rid of this extra space and that extra space how do we do that minus padding okay saved it there we go. So um, now our Win Fortune program, which ironically currently is being uh, used on Linux, uh, looks a little bit more decent. It's more readable because we have limited the length of each line and it has this highly attractive uh, rectangle around. 
uh, you can of course play with it and adjust it such that it matches uh, this kind of an uh, this kind of a frame but all in all I think this is uh, good enough for practical purposes I think uh, one more adjustment we can make is get rid of this final space I mean final new line character but this is left as an exercise to the reader enjoy